Ridley Scott's 1982 classic Blade Runner is synonymous with the cyberpunk future setting and aesthetic it popularized. From the neon lights to the Hong Kong inspired city to the grunge of the atmosphere, Blade Runner was quintessential in introducing the cyberpunk aesthetic into popular culture. When discussing Cowboy Bebop with IGN, Shinjiro Watanabe stated that a major influence on his series was, and of course, Blade Runner. Ridley Scott's Blade Runner has inspired art for 40 years and continues to be an influential and defining work in the cyberpunk zeitgeist. All of this preamble aside, I am not discussing Blade Runner, but two pieces of media whose identity and creation are heavily inspired by Blade Runner. I will be discussing Shinichiro Watanabe's Cowboy Bebop and Denis Villeneuve's Blade Runner 2049. While both works share similar and distinct qualities, they both share the same defining feature of being influenced by Ridley Scott's Blade Runner, which is why I chose to compare these two pieces of media. In this video, I'll be examining how Cowboy Bebop and Blade Runner 2049 present their respective features through comparison of their music, themes, cinematography, and art style. Sinichiro Watanabe's 1998 classic Cowboy Bebop is a Japanese anime series whose genre is described in the show as the work which becomes a new genre itself. It will be called Cowboy Bebop. A more detailed description of Cowboy Bebop's genre would be a mixture of Western, New Noir, Space Opera, Thriller, Comedy, Tragedy, and Action. Cowboy Bebop juggles an array of different genres each episode, which makes it difficult to categorize the show in a specific genre. For a very brief plot synopsis, the series follows the futuristic adventures of Spike, Jet, Faye, Edward, and Ayn aboard the Bebop on their search for bounties. Within the show, Cowboys is the nickname given to bounty hunters within the solar system. The series is presented in the future year of 2071, after humanity has accomplished interstellar travel similar to the capacity of today's automobiles. During the 2020s, a hyperspace gateway accident left Earth in ruins, and humanity remains in colonies within the solar system. Cowboy Bebop, through its future setting, prominently wrestles with themes of loneliness, existentialism, the male gaze, environmentalism, and capitalism. As these themes run through the show, they materialize through characters, cinematography, locations, and art style. Speaking of cinematography, Cowboy Bebop utilizes stylish cinematography heavily to characterize its future setting. Whether they are emotionally closed off and physically distant wide shots, to fluid and electrifying action scenes, the way in which the animation is being presented to the viewer is always in the service of an immersing you as the viewer into its world and into its future setting. On the topic of animation and cinematography, the art style and animation of Cowboy Bebop is a character in itself, and it defines the future year of 2071 presented to the viewer. Cowboy Bebop's art style can best be described as cyberpunk space western. To top it off, Cowboy Bebop's future setting is strongly defined by its music. Composed by Yoko Kano and performed by her band Seatbelts, her musical compositions for Cowboy Bebop can be described as opera, jazz, and western. Kano's work, just like the art style of the series, is a character of its own, and it helps to characterize the show's melding of different genres and gives it a unique futuristic character. Without Kano's music, the show's future aesthetic and setting would feel completely different. The Evil News 2017 film, Blade Runner 2049, is the 35-year sequel to Ridley Scott's cult classic Blade Runner. Blade Runners are law enforcement officers who hunt and eliminate replicants Taking place 30 years after the original film, this cyberpunk near noir thriller follows our replicant protagonist K and LAPD Blade Runner on a mysterious search for the truth about a replicant baby. Set in future Los Angeles, California in the year 2049, humanity is in a dark place. Bioengineered humans are used as slave labor for off-world colonies while humans on Earth live in poor conditions. Tensions are, remain high between the bioengineered replicants and humans 
as nearly 30 years prior in 2020, the Replicant Rebellion caused an event known as the Blackout, which caused all digital media to be lost completely. Blade Runner 2049 utilizes themes of what it means to be human, loneliness, existentialism, the male gaze, class, and capitalism to punctuate its future setting. And when it comes to the audio atmosphere of the setting, Hans Zimmer's score charges the viewer's senses with ethereal machine-like synths which fully immerse you within the world of 2049's Los Angeles. Speaking of immersing, Roger Deakins' Academy Award-winning cinematography defines the future setting of Blade Runner 2049. Shot compositions are often distant, emotionless, and concise, which adds an empty and lonely texture to the world of 2049. Much of the art design of Blade Runner 2049 can be attributed to Villeneuve, Deakins, and production designer Dennis Gassner. The trio's collaboration helped to create the hostile and foreign look of the cyberpunk dystopia of 2049. Cowboy Bebop and Blade Runner 2049 both share distinct visions of the future. While their implementations may be similar or different, they both achieve the same goal of presenting a similar dystopian future society of humanity. While 2049's future is mostly bleak and gray, Cowboy Bebop's future is eccentric and colorful. Hans Zimmer's score for 2049 is depleted of life and more reminiscent of machine sounds, while Yoko Kano's score is lively and full of jazz. Even if both compositions are complete opposites of each other, they both are utilized extremely effectively to enhance the viewer's immersion into their future world. Cowboy Bebop cinematography is fast-paced, fluid, while also static and simple. The latter two adjectives can also be applied to 2049's stoic and distant camera work. Both styles of camera work help Cowboy Bebop and 2049 add texture to its future setting for viewers to latch onto. Both share a similar cyberpunk art design for their dense future cities, as well as both heavily depict the male gaze of the future. On the topic of themes in both respective future settings, Cowboy Bebop and 2049 both express similar themes of loneliness, existentialism, capitalism, and class through their setting. While Cowboy Bebop and Blade Runner 2049 have two clearly distinct visions of the future, they share similar qualities of each other to accomplish their future setting. In conclusion, Cowboy Bebop and Blade Runner 2049 depict similar future settings while using the same or completely opposite cinematic techniques. Mentioned in the beginning, both are inspired by 1982's Blade Runner, one directly and the other indirectly. However, Cowboy Bebop has also gone on to inspire many aspects of Blade Runner 2049, from a similar catastrophic blackout event in the 2020s to the ending of Cowboy Bebop and Blade Runner which is what makes comparing these two so interesting. What makes comparing these two so special as well is seeing how art ripples forwards and backwards through time. And I think that Cowboy Bebop and Blade Runner 2049 is a really good example of that because while they both take heavy inspiration from the original Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2049 also takes inspiration from Cowboy Bebop and it's this fun loop seeing the who's who of inspiration and what kind of art that leads to.